Rhombus POS is an affordable and flexible point-of-sale solution which allows your business to process payments, keep track of inventory, generate reports, and itemize your business. This demonstration will look at some of the features available with this software. When you log into the app, the custom amount page will open. This page allows simple entry of the costs of items being sold. When you enter amounts to be charged, then tap the plus symbol. The amounts will be placed in the order column on the right. There are a number of options which can be done with the order. It can be cleared or deleted by tapping the clear button. It can be placed on hold by tapping the hold button. This will keep the order open to add further items, be displayed on a kitchen screen, or be processed at a later time. By tapping the customer button, a customer can be associated with the order. A table or station can be assigned to the order by tapping the small square button at the top of the order column. The order can be printed out for the kitchen by tapping a printer button, or it can be finalized by tapping the charge button, which will open the checkout page to process the payment. Each of these options for the order are also available on the items page. The items page lists the items that have been created for the business. On the left of the page are category folders of the items. At the bottom of the page, the All button is activated. This allows all of the items in this store to be displayed. Tapping a folder displays only those items assigned to that folder. Tapping the Edit button below the folders allows the category folder chosen to be renamed or deleted. Tapping the New button allows the creation of a category folder or subfolder. By tapping an item, it is placed in the order column. When an item in the order column is tapped, an option window appears and allows choices affecting the item to be made. After any choices have been made, the Update button can be tapped and the adjustments for the item are displayed in the order column. Any changes in the price or discount for the item are adjusted and reflected in the total price. If tables, positions, or order numbers are used with orders, these can be assigned by tapping the Station button on top of the order column. Once the customer position is entered, tap OK. The position is now indicated in the Station button. A customer can also be assigned to the order by tapping the Customer button. This page allows you to apply a returning customer to the order or create a new customer for the order by entering relevant information. Any new customer information entered here will be saved for future use when the Apply tab is tapped. You will notice the customer's name appears on the Customer button when applied. If the order is placed on hold, the order column is cleared and the number 1 appears next to the Orders tab. This number increases as the number of orders are placed on hold and decreases when open orders are paid. By tapping the Orders tab, any open orders are listed with general information about the order. By tapping the order, the order details will appear in the right column. The order can be printed for the kitchen or other use. If you have a second screen for the kitchen, any open orders will appear on that screen. When an open order is displayed in the right column, other charges or items can be added to the order. By tapping the custom amount or items, those pages will open and any charges or items can be added to the order. Once an open order is ready for payment, the Charge button on the item list or below the order column can be tapped and the checkout page will open. The checkout page allows for payments by cash, check, credit card, debit card, or by a gift card. By applying the different methods of payment, reports as to how orders were paid can be maintained. On the top center is the ability to add new payments, which provides the ability to split the charge in separate payments. The method for any payment can be chosen for each payment. By tapping the Cancel button, the payments added can be removed. If there is only one payment to process, the Charge button can be tapped and the window to process the amount to be tendered opens. By tapping the X in the top right corner, the window will close. If payment for an order is to be split evenly among customers, the Auto Split button on the bottom left of the page can be tapped after adding the new payments. The total amount due will be evenly divided among the number of payments when the Auto Split tab is tapped. The payment to be applied is highlighted. 
Another way to split payments among customers who will be paying different amounts is to enter the amount to be paid in the center window. The amount of the first payment to be processed needs to be manually entered with the keypad. This is done by tapping the X in the window and entering the amount of the payment on the keypad. The amount displayed in the window can be processed by tapping the charge button. When the charge button is tapped, a payment window will open. At the top of this payment window, the type of payment and the amount of the payment is displayed. There are various options that can be edited with this window. The amount to be charged appears in the Amount Tendered window. The amount tendered for payment can be edited by tapping the Clear tab and entering a different amount, or by tapping the Back button on the keypad and editing the amount. The amount tendered can also be changed by tapping one of the amounts below the keypad that is rounded up to the nearest dollar, $5, and $10. If the amount tendered is different than the amount charged, the change due will automatically calculate the difference. Once the amount tendered is correctly entered, payment can be processed by tapping either the Receipt Options or the Apply Payment tabs. If the Apply Payment tab is tapped, a small window opens and the cash register automatically opens. The amount of change due is displayed and there is the option to either cancel the payment or tap Done to finalize the payment. A paper receipt can be programmed to automatically print upon payment. If the Receipt Options tab is tapped, the same small window will open. When Done is tapped, a page will open allowing the entry of email and text receipt information. This information will automatically populate if a customer is associated to the order. Tapping Done will finalize the payment. If the Cancel button is tapped, the window will close and the checkout window will reopen. If the Done button is tapped, the payment will be processed and the checkout page will reopen if any balance for the order needs to be paid. Each time a payment which is less than the amount due is processed, a new payment line will be created. The amount of the next payment needs to be adjusted according to the payment to be made. If it is less than the amount due, it will create another payment to be made until the amount due is paid in full. If a payment is to be paid by a credit or debit card, and the Credit Debit button is tapped for that payment, a Tip Receipt button will appear, allowing the option to provide a tip and receive receipts by text or email. By tapping this button, a window will open providing tip options, receipt options, and a signature line. If a customer has been applied to the order, their information will automatically populate the email receipt and text receipt fields. Standard percentages can be applied as a tip or a custom amount can be entered by the keypad. The signature line can be signed on the screen with a finger, and if corrections are needed, there is a clear tab. Upon completing the information, the payment can be cancelled or charged. When the Charge button is tapped, a window prompting the card to be processed will appear. Once an order is closed, there is the ability to make refunds. This is done by opening the Orders page and tapping on a closed order. This window allows individual items to be selected and the returning refund calculated. After selecting any items to be refunded, the refund receipt can be printed and the amount refunded. The slide-out menu allows system, locations, and hardware changes to be made. The Hardware Setup page allows the connection of payment terminals and printer setup. There is the ability to connect two printers to the app. By tapping the Select Printer button, a page will appear listing the available printers to connect and the ability to select the interface for those printers. There are five options for each of the printers to interface with the app and its function. Each printer can be selected when that printer will automatically print. If the cash drawer will open for a payment by check, and where in the app a printer button will appear. Under Locations, there is a list of stores, and when the store is tapped, any changes made will be specific to that store. You will notice the items for each store are different. Under the System menus, there is the Quick Dashboard, Secondary Screen, Locations, where locations can be edited and receipt information entered, Taxes, which allows creation, editing, and assignment to locations, 
Discounts, which allows the creation and editing of discounts, and other advanced features. The Manage Inventory section allows the creation and editing of items. When tapping the Manage Inventory option, a page opens allowing items to be searched, edited, and created. By tapping an item, the page allowing any changes to be made to that item opens. Each item can be assigned to any existing category folders or subfolders, be included as inventory to any location, apply appropriate taxes for the relevant location, and edit any fields that relate to the item. Any options can also be added, edited, or removed. When the editing of an item is finished, it can be saved with the updated changes by tapping the Save tab in the top right corner of the page. A different picture can also be associated with an item. Pictures for items are created by tapping the camera icon. Available pictures are displayed according to the name of the item. There is also the ability to take a picture of the item with the device, choosing a picture from a gallery on the device, or providing a URL link to a picture. If a similar item is to be created, the Save As tab can be used and a new name entered. Although this short demonstration of the Rhombus POS app is not comprehensive, it demonstrates the flexibilities and adaptabilities of an affordable point-of-sale option for your business. For further information, go to www.rhombuspos.com or email us at info at rhombuspos.com.